Man, you know, it has been so long since I've blogged on YouTube that I completely forgot how much preparation it takes to make one of these videos, which might explain why I haven't been here in so long. But, anyway, as you might have seen, um, I did this little thing last year. I think it was last year. Wow. 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 It's been a really long time. Um, well, yeah, I said my channel was going to go in a different direction. That direction ended up being down the toilet because, well, as you can see, I haven't actually made a video blog in like a year. So, um, I decided that to make it a lot easier, I'm saying the same thing I did last year. Just watch the video from last year. I'm not going to write my blogs anymore. I'm just going to word vomit and just talk. So, here is me talking. Okay, so I'm on vacation with my family right now in Hershey, Pennsylvania which is pretty fun. We're staying at the Hershey Lodge. I don't think it's actually like owned by the chocolate company, but it's... So, oh, okay, this is really awkward. Hold on a second. I'll finish this thought and then I'll tell you. Um, what am I talking about? Hershey Lodge. It's not, I don't think, owned by the chocolate company, but it's like affiliated with it or something. I kind of said all of this in a blog that I just posted like a couple minutes ago, but it's in Spanish. So I will say this in English so that most of my viewers can understand it. Um, yes, we're in Hershey, Pennsylvania, just kind of for vacation, just because, um, I'll get to that later, too. And, okay, the awkward thing. Um, I'm sitting in the hotel lobby right now because my mom and my sister are asleep in our room, and some really drunk guys just walked by and were like, and it was like, okay. Yeah, I was um, in the blog that I just posted sitting on the other side of the lobby, but then there were like 25 million drunk people who just walked in, and so now I'm sitting on this side of the lobby, but apparently the drunks just like to follow me, so. Okay, so that you are not all bored out of your minds completely, we'll put some substance in this blog, I guess. I'll tell you about all the lovely things I did today. Um, so, it's my sister's birthday in like a week, and so my mom made us all spa appointments at the spa in the town here. I'm not sure why that was a good idea for me to have an appointment there, but apparently it was. And so, um, it was a very interesting experience. I got a facial today for the first time ever in my life. I think also probably the last time ever in my life. Um, it was really scary, actually. Okay, so let's just talk first about the ladies um, who were in the waiting room at the spa. First of all, there are about 71, there are about 71 of these 76 year old ladies in the waiting room who are just all robed, very elegant looking ladies. Um, most of them were talking about their husband's um, very low golf scores for the week and also um, what treatments they were getting done this week. And that's when I was like, wow, this week, as in like you come here often, like as in a lot of those treatments at that place cost like upwards of they just cost a lot of money, and I don't think that I ever, ever, ever want to have enough money to be able to go to one of those things weekly because that would be horrible. Um, yeah, that's, wow, for them to be regulars, they have to be pretty damn rich, I think. Okay, so to start off, like, the whole procedure thing, the lady had to first examine my face so she could, um, like, tailor the facial to fit my skin needs or whatever. So, um, she had to, like, examine it under this magnifying glass and all this stuff, and she's, like, poking around at it and stuff. And then, after a couple of seconds of examination, she exclaimed, Oh my! You have very dry skin indeed! And then she rubbed her hands on my face, like this. And she was like, oh, crap. And she was like, do you hear it? Do you hear how dry it is? And then I was like, I don't actually know what dry sounds like, as a matter of fact. And she said, it sounds like your face right now, can't you hear that? And so now I know what dry sounds like. Okay, so then they slathered like 8 billion different lotions and oils and all this other crap on my face. And they were supposed to make it, you know, smooth and, I don't know, awesome or something. So that it wouldn't sound like this and be dry and sound like a desert. Because apparently dry has a sound. So, um, yes, I got all these crazy oils and lotions and they felt really weird and smelled like fruits and stuff. Um... So in the middle of like the facial thing, the lady was like, Okay, I'm going to steam your face so that we can open your pores, and then we're going to extract, extract the impurities. 
which I don't really know. I'm kind of dumb to this whole spa stuff, so I thought that would mean she would put like some weird voodoo lotion on it and then have a seance and extract all of the impurities from my face from face hell or something. I don't really know. Um, but in fact, what that actually means if they're going to extract things from your face means that they're actually going to stab your face with a little bitty needle like 60 billion times and stab all the dirt in your pores to death or something and it is in fact very painful and I kind of wanted to cry a little but that might have just been because of all of the moisturizers and oils and stuff running into my contacts um okay so after like the near death experience with the um extractions um she massaged my face with these smelling planty oils that were supposed to make it more moist and smooth and stuff. Except for that when it was done, my face did not indeed feel very, oh so very refreshed and brand new. It actually felt more like, because I do theater and stuff all the time, so. Like I had stage makeup caked all over my face. If anyone has ever had stage makeup on, it's not anything like regular makeup at all. I, mean, I don't really wear makeup on a regular basis, but like on Halloween and stuff I have, but it's like really thick and it's like, paint on your face and it's it dries your face out a lot and it, then it's like pain on your face but anyway yeah basically the stuff that was up was like stage makeup um because i always get the stupid eyeliner shit in my eyes when i'm trying to do it because i'm not very good at it and yeah all the stuff was running in my eyes and making my contacts just go crazy so then i had to wear my glasses the rest of the day and it did not feel very refreshed at all so when i got back here to the hotel i actually washed all of that stuff off um with my regular old face wash that makes my face nice and dry. So then it is now, once again, pleasantly dry. Um, and so things in the state of Denmark are rotten no longer. So then what I was thinking was about these poor ladies who are in the <laughs> waiting room who are all like 76 years old. Why would they choose to subject themselves to this kind of torture like on a weekly basis? I just don't understand why they would actually choose to do something like that. But you know, um, I suppose if they're coming here on a weekly basis, their faces are all probably already kind of like really smooth and gentle and fresh and all that stuff, even though they're 76. Um, I don't mean to offend anyone if anyone old watches this. I don't really know my demographics because, well, I don't have Nielsen ratings, but whatever. Um, yeah. I guess that if their faces are like regulars to this kind of stuff though, then they'd be more like toned athletes, so they'd be used to it. My face is like somebody who goes to the gym to be like quick just binge on healthiness and just w lift a lot of weights like for one day and think that that means they're healthy, which just really in fact makes you hurt a lot and doesn't actually make you healthy. So I think that is what happened to my face. I think that's probably a really bad comparison. but. So tomorrow I am going to see Mamma Mia. The national tour of it is coming to the Hershey Theater here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And so we are going to see it tomorrow, my mom and my sister and I. And um, my uncle and his new wife are also coming to see it with us. I haven't seen him since I was 12. And he has since, um, he is now married as of a few months ago, I guess. And so I get to meet his wife and I get to see him for the first time in a really long time. So that should be fun. And Mamma Mia is a really fun show. So that will be a fun time. But I think I'm going to go to bed now because it is like... Wow, it's 1.50 Eastern Time, but I'm used to Central Time because I live in Wisconsin. So it's really only 12.50 for me, but I still have to wake up in Eastern Time. And the show is still at Eastern Time, so I should probably get there on time, Eastern Time. So I think I'm going to go to bed now. But... It's really been a lot of fun talking to you all because, well, I haven't done it in a long time. And yes, YouTube is a fun place. So I think I'll make more video blogs more often. I guess it's not really that hard. I'll try to not make them so lengthy and boring because I feel like I'm rambling a lot, which, yeah, I think I am. Okay, bye.